Hi everybody, welcome to part 9 of A Revolution of Light and Love. Beautiful channel teachings from Jesus and how you can find joy, peace and love by living as your true self. And I was guided to wear this particular necklace today and it's three garnet stones. And for me these stones symbolise Jesus and Mary Magdalene and some of the other teachers I work most closely with. And it's also a symbol of the Holy Trinity to me, which I think is why I was guided to wear today. And suppose I just want to make that point that if there's something physical in your life that reminds you of your spiritual life, reminds you to listen and connect in with your soul, then do use it in your everyday life for that. And before we listen to these beautiful words today, let's just close our eyes for a moment. Just take some long, slow, deep breaths in. Letting everything go in the out breaths. Letting your body gently soften. Letting your body gently relax. Gently focusing on your heart. Feeling and sensing your own beautiful soul light shining at your heart. And just taking a moment to set and feel into your own beautiful pure light. You can keep your eyes closed as I read these beautiful words if you'd like to. Think like God. Doubt and fear are the two biggest barriers between you and me. Once you are aware of these, you can start to break them down. Visualize them as walls, as barriers, and start to take them down, to dismantle them a little each day. Like the Berlin Wall, anything can be broken down one brick at a time. Nothing is insurmountable. Start where you are and never stop. When you ask for my help, you will look back and see and you will start to realise that things that at first appear to be problems or blocks turned out to be the perfect solution to a bigger problem that was stopping you living your life on purpose. I do everything for a reason. Trust me. Know that everything that happens has its purpose. And once you start to live in this trusting way, nothing will ever hurt you again. For you will know everything is happening for a reason. You will know that although you can't see the reason right now, there is a reason. And you will thank me in advance for my help and guidance. I know it is hard to believe this and to believe in our connection when you are in the midst of dealing with your problems and your past. But know these problems are the result of miscreations and that with me you can create the most wonderful life you can imagine. This is how you must change. You must hold this belief and knowledge always that together we can create everything you have ever dreamed of. And as our connection grows what you dream of will change the things that are with ever more in line with your soul's purpose. 
hold this vision in faith and trust. Look to the future and do not focus on the mistakes of the past. Learn from them and move on. Dwelling on them does not serve you. It only limits you and stops you from creating the future you want. If you dwell on the mistakes and patterns of the past, you will recreate these again. Instead, think of the new pattern you want for your life and see it come into being. With me by your side, helping you every step of the way. For I am always by your side. Feel my presence and my love. If you get lost in the pain of your past mistakes, close your eyes and hold this vision of me and ask me to give you strength to see clearly and move forwards. Anything is possible with me. Everything is possible with me. Hold fast to this knowledge. I hate to see you dwelling in your pain and I will always lift you up if you ask. I will help you to stand above it and to look beyond to a new horizon. This is what you must do. Look to the new horizon and hold a new dream for your life. Then together we will make this dream come true. You can have your happy ever after. That is what I want for you. For your happiness is my happiness. Your love is my love. Your growth is my growth. We are one. And together we will become so much more than we could ever be if we were separate. The problem is in your thinking. You have a finite view of what you can become. When I keep telling you your view must be infinite. Think beyond the possibilities your mind can currently comprehend. This is where the truth lies. This is where reality lies. Outside the confines of your present limited thought patterns. Let the sense of infinite possibilities grow within you. Let me help you to do that. Be still and know that you are God. If you are as God, you can create as God. But first you must think like God. Without boundaries, without reason, without any limits whatsoever. Seek this limitless feeling within you. Cultivate it. Then your life will become limitless. For as your thinking is, so is your life. Your life follows your thinking. So think on what you dream of and watch it come to you on the wings of angels. In your thinking lies your true power. In your current thinking lies your problems. So change your thinking, your sense of possibility and change your life. This is the most powerful lesson you can learn. But in the past, when you have heard this message, you have made the concept of changing your thoughts into a chore. What I ask you to do is to dream and become alive to the infinite possibilities that lie before you. To be filled with joy at the possibilities and potential for your life. This is so different from overthinking and struggling and trying to force the universe to bend to your will. The process itself should be a thing of beauty and joy. Let your mind be filled with beautiful daydreams and let your creative potential call these into being without you having to do anything. Be the dreamer, the visionary, a being of imagination. Hold a new story for the world and watch it unfold. This is what you must do as my messenger. Show people how to dream the dream that will bring them joy and love. And I just love those final words and I'm just going to read them again. And I think they're so relevant now as the world, the whole world is changing. Be the dreamer, 
the visionary, a being of imagination. Hold a new story for the world and watch it unfold. This is what you must do as my messenger. Show people how to dream the dream that will bring them joy and love. So let's just close our eyes again for a little minute. Just taking time to absorb those words. Letting yourself absorb the healing and the love carried in the words. Just knowing in your soul that this is a moment when you can hold a new dream for your life, when you can write your own story without limits, that you can think like God without boundaries. And just taking a moment to let that possibility blossom open in your heart Now this is my little bit of inspiration and soul guidance and how you can start to live these words. Don't dream it, be it. Who is the person you've always dreamed of being? How much time do you spend wishing you could be that person? How much more sensible would it be to spend that time being it now? We paralyze ourselves waiting for all the answers to be laid out for us before we do anything. When we should be focusing on being who we truly are in this moment. Don't wait for your problems to disappear. They'll disappear when you be it. Don't wait for the perfect solution to appear. What may seem like an imperfect solution to you may be the perfect solution the universe has in mind. Don't wait until you're good enough, you've learned enough, you've suffered enough. Just be, right here, right now, in this moment, the person you can imagine you can be. Don't let anyone tell you you can't be what you came here to be. Don't dare tell yourself that. All you need to do is start being it for one second, then the next and the next will follow. Until second by second, you're being the person you've always dreamed of. If you wobble, just start again in the next second. Try to be what you came here to be, and you'll be guided by angels. Deny what you came here to be, and you'll be the cause of your own suffering. You will never feel joy and flow until you let yourself be who you know in your soul you are. Start being it now, in this very second. Lots of beautiful teachings there today. And I think you'll find with all of them, you can go over these teachings over and over again because something will resonate one week and another line will resonate another week. So the teachings to go back to and you will feel and pick out what you need to at any one time. And the bit that's resonating with me today is actually the bit about trying to bend the universe to our will. And this is what we are often try to do when we start out in our spiritual path. We think we have to somehow force everything with our thoughts into how we want it to be. Instead of stepping back, letting go, 
Letting our soul dream the dream it came here to dream and letting ourselves gently be who we're here to be. So just remember that gentleness, that letting go, that thought of dreaming the dream as you go through this week.